And our next guest is Brian Peterson. He's with the Buena Vista Audubon Society. And um, it's quite a long title here. Let's see, board member and publicity media representative. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about your organization, Brian? Absolutely. Um, we are a local chapter of the National Audubon Society and we were founded in 1951. So we've been a part of the uh, community here in Oceanside for quite some time. And um, you know, when people hear Audubon, they ask me, oh, well, you, you guys are about birds, right? And it's true, we, we do a lot of work uh, teaching people about birds and getting people enthusiastic about birding, but we're, we're really about a lot more than that. Our organization, um, our mission is to promote nature education for young people and really for people all throughout our community. Excellent, excellent. Um, so the mission is basically preser preservation, education, people. Can, tell me where you guys are located. Well, we have a nature center. It's a fantastic uh, facility. Actually, the first nature center of its kind that was uh, built on the coast in uh, coastal North County. And it's located off South Coast Highway. It's uh, right on the border of Carlsbad and Oceanside, right there on Buena Vista Lagoon. And um, it's a facility that's open to the public. It's uh, completely free and it's um, open to the public every day except for Monday. Okay. I know they've got a terrific newsletter too that Absolutely. explains all the activities going on. So a little bit you'll give us the website and oh, everything. Yes. Um, so what kind of programs does the Nature Center offer to the community? Do they have guest speakers and things like that? Oh yeah, we have, there are so many different programs going on at the Nature Center. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the things that we do. Like I said, our primary uh, goal is education for young people. So that's on a day in day out basis. This is what you see the most of. You have groups from local schools coming in and doing tours with our nature guides. Um, we also have monthly programs for adults. Um, with different guest speakers. Uh, we do special events like our yearly uh, Endangered Species Day. That's a, a huge event for the whole family. We have um, a native plant garden. We have a hiking trail. So um, if you're interested in learning about local species, plants and wildlife, it's just a great place to come by. Excellent, excellent. Um, what other conservation projects have um, has the Buena Vista Audubon Society been involved in? Do you know of any off the top of your head? Oh yeah, definitely. We've actually just recently purchased uh, two different properties uh, in Oceanside. One is the uh, Wetlands Preserve, and that's right across Coast Highway from our Nature Center. Nice. Um, we have another preserve uh, that's called the Andy Morrow Preserve, and that's in Northwest Oceanside uh, near Camp Pendleton and the San Luis Rey River. Mm. And um, we're, uh, working on uh, habitat restoration in those uh, properties, uh, working on restoring the coastal sage scrub habitat, um, which is home to some um, critically threatened um, local species. Okay. Believe me, I'm familiar with the gnat catcher and a few other things that have uh, slowed development in some other projects. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, how, um, you're looking for volunteers to to man this center some days, or um, as you said, for some of the conservation efforts? Absolutely. Um, that's one of the great things about our organization is that we're an entirely volunteer-run organization. So everything that gets done is done by volunteers. So if, if you have a talent, if you have a skill, and you're passionate about nature, we can find a place for you. One of the best ways to get started is uh, what I did when I started out with this organization was just volunteering to host at the Nature Center. We're always looking for people to help out with that. Not too much of a commitment, just a few hours a month. And you can come in and um, you can get to know a little bit more about what we do. But if anybody's interested in volunteering, uh, we'd love to have you. And um, you can come in to our Nature Center. You can send us an email, check out our website. There's a lot of different ways to get a hold of us. Okay. Um, so let me say, wasn't there a project at Buddy Todd Park with some birdhouses that were assembled? Do you know anything about that project? Well, I know that we do a, uh, a yearly birdhouse auction. Mm -hmm. That might oh, be what auction. you're referring to. Okay. Yeah, and that's, um, that's another way for people to get involved if they have an artistic bent and uh, are crafty. We can, um, that's something we do as a fundraiser. We auction off uh, different birdhouses in the community. 
Excellent, excellent. Well, it sounds like there's plenty of fun things to do at the Buena Vista Audubon Society. And thank you so much for volunteers like yourself. And again, it looks like people of all ages can go anytime except Monday and um, get involved. I definitely encourage folks to check it out. Uh, whether you're visiting Oceanside or you're a longtime resident, make it a point to stop there this fall and see what's going on. Would you be kind enough, Brian, to give us the website and the phone number, and if you're on Facebook? Absolutely, we are on uh, Facebook and on Instagram, and um, the uh, website is uh, www.bvautobahn.org. Excellent, oh, phone number? Uh, well, we'll get back. Check the website immediately, everybody. But um, Brian, thank you so much. It was great to meet you today. And I look forward to stopping by soon and saying hello. Thank you. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Really very appreciate much. it. Keep up the good work. Thanks.